Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. This is part one in Azure Data Explorer playlist. With this video, I am going to start a new playlist called Azure Data Explorer. In this playlist, we will be exploring everything related to Azure Data Explorer. Okay, and uh, I will also parallelly start another playlist called Kushto, where I will explain about Kushto query language also. So please stay tuned by subscribing to First Studies YouTube channel. So let's focus on this video. Here we are going to discuss about introduction to Azure Data Explorer. People used to call it ADX, Azure Data Explorer. So we will be understanding what is Azure Data Explorer and also we will be understanding some key features. So it's like a theoretical video only. So focus on it because understanding theory is always important to get proper understanding of the practical also. So what is Azure Data Explorer? So firstly, it is one of the service in Azure. So in Azure Cloud, Azure Data Explorer is also one of the service that is actually fully managed and high performance big data analytics platform. So fully managed means like everything, you no need to consider about anything infrastructure. Everything was fully managed by Azure itself. So what to install, whether we have to install a database, whether we have to install a cluster, nothing scaling up the things, scaling down the things, providing compute, everything was taken by, or by cloud itself. So whenever you see fully managed word, that means it was fully controlled by Azure itself. So it's a fully managed service within the Azure cloud and it has a very high performance and it's basically a big data analytics platform. So what I mean by big data analytics platform? So big data means nothing but like a huge data. So whenever you have a huge data, uh, we will, so huge data means like not like a relational database tables and all like SQL tables and all it's not the case. So maybe you have some data in Excel files in text files in CSV files and the other uh, files are very huge. So they, these are not like a structured data, right? These are JSON files, right? So all these are like a semi structured or unstructured data. So all this huge data is nothing but like a big data. Big data is nothing but like a huge data where your data is very huge. It may be terabytes, petabytes, right? So that's how it is. So on top of that huge data, performing analytics. Analytics means take the data, understand the data and identify some insights from the data. So that is called analytics, analyzing the data. So to analyze or to perform analytics on a big data, this Azure Data Explorer platform will be very useful. Okay. It will actually have a built-in ingestion process as well. It will ingest the data. It can be structured data, semi-structured or non-structured data. It will ingest every kind of data and it will allow you to interactively perform your analytics. That means uh, once the data landed, once the data ingested into Data Explorer database tables, then you can perform the analytics there itself. You can write the queries in interactive manner. So what I mean to say interactive means then and there you can execute your queries and you can get the insights from the data and that query execution will happen using the Kushto query language which is a open source query language actually and it is very fast there is low latency it is lightning fast within milliseconds and seconds you can query millions and billions of rows as well so it is that fast since you are able to interact with the data explorer directly and perform the analytics that means querying the data is happening interactive fashion that's why it called it can help you to perform interactive analytics so data explorer toolbox give you end to end solution for data injection first you ingest the data into data explorer using the toolbox of the data explorer once you ingest you perform the querying the data to understand what is happening in your business and you can visualize that insights also there are inbuilt visualizations and dashboards are available and it can inbuilt co connect with a power bi as well and also you can perform the management of the data everything can be possible with the data explorer toolbox actually so if all this is not making that much of sense let me practically give you one scenario so let's assume uh, you have a you are running a big clothing uh, company so you have a very big clothing company uh, which is across the world now you want to move this company into e-commerce so that means across the world you want to have e-commerce stores that means online stores where you want to sell this all clothes 
not only sell you want to maybe let's assume you want to introduce a sales campaign so you want to run a sales campaign for the year end sale so to run the campaign you should know in which country in which geography uh, what kind of campaign to run and also you should know in your manufacturing unit uh, how the stock is whether you have proper stock there or not and also you need to have a sales history from all the regions right in which region which kind of cloths are getting sold and how, what is the sales history for every region you need to have that and also you need to have the logistic information because it's a e-commerce you have to courier the uh, orders and everything so you need to have this logistics information so there are so much of data available right so if you can use adx here basically what you can do is you can try to have data flowing from manufacturing unit sales unit logistic unit from across the globes into adx adx and there inside the adx you can execute your queries using kushto language to understand how the manufacturing what is the stock available with me and also in the manufacturing unit or in the sales unit maybe you have iot devices that will scan the products going out and going in so that iot devices also can send the data into adx right so like this you can flow all kinds of varieties of data into adx and there itself you can execute the queries in an interactive fashion immediately to understand what is happening across the uh, regions and then accordingly launch your sales campaign across the regions so that you will increase your business you can take a decisions very quickly like what kind of campaign to run how much of stock to uh, stock to keep where to keep how to keep and everything right it it will give you a lot of idea when you have all the data with you handy using this adx and not only having the data it is giving you a capability to querying that data so that's the beauty of data explorer okay so i hope that example is giving little sense to you don't worry over the time when we progress with this playlist you will get a create a clear idea about data explorer okay so now let's understand about the some of the q features about this data explorer these are q features one is data velocity variety and volume so that means you can ingest and query uh, huge amounts of data like te terabytes and petabytes of data also you can ingest and query very easily and it has a user friendly query language called kushto as we discussed which is a open source that will help you to query data very easily in a easy fashion and it has a advanced analytics feature that means you can perform time series analysis that means with the time you can see like this today how it is tomorrow how it is with the time series you can do the analysis and also you can embed the python code into the kushto language also when you are writing the queries for performing the analytics and it has easy to use wizard that means to ingest the data into adx is very easy it has some couple of clicks type of wizard using performing that clicks help you to ingest the data continuously into data explorer and it has a versatile data visualizations as i said it has built in visualizations and has a dashboards and it also has a native connectivity or integration with power bi2 and it it can automatically ingest process and export the data from various tools like adls and all it can continuously ingest and export the data and also it has a integration with lot of other services too you can very easily perform the integration of the adx with other services too so all these are like a queue features of the data explorer so i have i hope i give a proper or high level idea what is data explorer and how it works actually so we will discuss more about this in our upcoming videos please subscribe to our studies youtube channel and stay tuned to this playlist to get more details about this data explorer thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much